Bro, listen, from this point forward, just have Lash come out and beat people at basketball. Right? Like, Dude. In the middle of this sports entertainment okay. show, there's going to be a pickup game every week. Okay. Lash legend against another woman or man and just fucking obliterates them and kills them. And then that's it. That's the segment. No more wrestling. Okay, that takes care of Lash legend. What do we do with Indy Hartwell? Well, Indy Hartwell, we need to get uh, Dexter back. Because firing Dexter was the worst thing that ever happened to Indy in storyline and real life. Because she is lost without the creep from the creep farm. For those of you who have not heard, Indy Hartwell versus Last Legend was a horror show. <laughs> God. This had to have been the worst match I've seen all year. Like, not uh, by miles. You know, and everyone's going to talk about the finish. I got to say one thing, though. That was funny. A lot was funny. The whole thing was funny. Somebody on our board could not believe Dave's review of this match because he gave it negative stars, said it might be the worst match. Hell yes, it was negative stars. And this person said, I saw Lash have a horrible match with Sarai. She couldn't possibly have gotten worse, right? And I thought, wait a second. (laughs) You can't believe... That Lash Legend versus Indy Hartwell might be worse than Lash Legend versus Sarai? Well, I'm here to tell you that, in fact, putting Lash Legend in the ring with Indy Hartwell was worse than putting her in the ring with Sarai. Is Indy ever going to have a match again that doesn't look like it's her first match ever? Doubtful. Everyone is going to talk about the finish. We'll get to the finish, and there's reason to talk about it. But I honestly think the very first spot may have been worse. Because the first, like the finish was a fucked up springboard. And if you took me or almost all the fans into a wrestling ring and said, try a springboard, we'd all fuck it up. We'd probably all get hurt very badly. Springboards are not easy to do. So it's reasonable that somebody may fuck it up once in a while. But the very first spot of this match was... They do a lockup, and Lash pushes her into the corner, and Indy bounces out backwards and takes a rabbit lariat. It's a lariat to the back of the head. Indy gets pushed into this corner. She can't even walk backwards. She has to look back over her shoulder to see where she is going as she walks backwards, which would you would think indicate someone's going to hit you in the back of the head with their arm. Indy can't walk. Indy cannot walk. Okay. So things are going on, and Lash is working over. She's, she's, Lash is doing these knees. They look like shit, but you can tell they also hurt like hell. <laughs> the, the, the knees to the back is on the ground. They, 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 there's like no motion, but if you've ever been in a wrestling ring, you know, oh, God, that hurt so bad. And then they did something. I just stopped typing. And I didn't read anything. For, for, like, for like 20 seconds, I just sat there. And finally, I re round to watch it again to see if what happened actually happened. And uh, it did. I went a third time just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Here's the spot, everyone. And it's, well, here's the spot. Lash, who is big and strong, lifts Indy up in like a torture rack or an Atlantida. She's draped over Lash's back in a submission hold. Fine. She carries Indy over to the ropes. She she sticks Indy's head through the ropes. I'd forgotten. Going out. I, you lucky fucker. Oh, I wish I could forget this. Oh, I this. remember now. I wish I could forget I this. I remember now. She sticks Indy's head through the ropes, and she shakes her up and that down. Now, I think the idea was, I think the idea was we were supposed to believe that Indy's head was hitting the middle rope yeah. and then hitting the top rope. Yeah. That's not what happened. She didn't come within six inches of either of these ropes. There was just shaking going on. So it didn't work. <laughs> but if it had, it still would have been horrible. Right? <laughs> well, they tried something horrible uh, yeah. and made it horribler. I'm not sure who came up with this idea. Who in the world? <laughs> they, they must have thought of this on their own. There's no way any agent with more than like a dozen matches would have seen this and said, no, don't do that. 
Do not do that on national television. I'll hit the ring if you do this. Well, they did that. <sighs> Doing some stuff. Elbow fire appears in the crow's nest. Distracts Lash. We miss Indy's comeback. It's probably fucked up, too. Uh, so the finish is Indy is going to go for a spring. Well, I don't know what the plan was. I actually have no idea what the plan was. I'll tell you what happened. Indy goes for a springboard, but she fucks up and falls in her face. Okay, okay, that sucks. That sucks. But again, springboards are difficult. A lot of people would fall down that. CM Punk just fucked up a springboard. Well, it's kind of a springboard in his uh, last uh, pay-per-view main event. It happens. But what happens then is she lands on the mat and, like, rolls through and bonks into Lash. So Lash sort of cradles her. And I guess Indy cradles her back and wins? Indy, Indy tried to reverse his cradle, but actually pinned herself. It was a double pin. So all four shoulders. But they down. gave the they gave the they gave the win to Indy. You know this match fucking sucked. It was the worst. And, uh, it was the absolute worst. I was watching this and I was just. I don't want to get. I don't want to get too far down on Indy because she had to work with Lash. Okay. And uh, you know. Well, here we go. Here's go the ahead. thing. Go ahead. Listen, I don't think I'm that bad a worker. All right, but. If I had to go in with Lash Legend and memorize her match, it'd probably be shit. Because I don't like memorizing shit. And Indy, I'm sure, had to go in there and memorize a whole shitty match. There were a bunch of stupid fucking spots that they had to do, which I don't even know why anybody had them do this. And I just watched this match, and I thought, you know, I remember the very first match I ever had with Buddy, where we went in there, and he called the whole thing in the ring. We went to a 20-minute draw, five-minute overtime, in a bull ring, in the middle of fucking Prineville, Oregon. And man, when that fucking match was over, I was so I was scared shitless going in. But when it was over, I thought, I fucking learned so much in that match. And then I had the second match with Buddy. And when it was over, I thought, I learned so fucking much in that match. And I'm pretty sure every match I ever had with Buddy, I thought, I learned so much in that match. There's no fucking way that either of these women walked out of the ring and thought, I learned so much in that match. If anything, they probably honestly walked out thinking, I'm much worse after that match. This ain't how you learn to work. No. It's just not. No. Lash Legend is a great athlete. I'm not kidding. Just have her fucking play basketball in NXT. If you want her on TV so bad, just have her beat everyone in basketball. Get her out of the ring on live television. She's not ready. It's only doing her a disservice. It's doing Indy a disservice, having to try to have a match with Lash Legend. Whoever's fucking coming up with these stupid-ass spots in this match, I don't want anyone to lose their job, but fucking knock it off. Like, what in the fuck was that thing? I don't know. I don't get it. This was horrible. God bless them, but it was horrible. So, I mean, it is developmental. And they're here to develop. They're not developing. They're not, well, they're not developing. That's part of the problem. But, I mean, the thing about Indy is... I mean, so you don't, don't want to be too hard on her. This was the worst of Indy, but it's not that much of an anomaly. She's not good. And based on this show, getting actively worse. Yeah, uh, I was very embarrassed watching this match, and I was alone. So I can only imagine how they feel having had it on television. That's no good. That's no good at all. I hope things get better for them, and they do better next time. Rusty. Rusty Rose, 10 4 <laughs> Dusty. Is it rusty or dusty? <laughs> it's uh it's dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. Her, and Herman way, Blanchett. <laughs> Harwin. <laughs> way back then they had cha chain barricades. <laughs> and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl uh, Rick Flair and some more guys. And <laughs> So that was that. I'm just too good. Who, who did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.